So now that we've got the media on the computer that we're going to be using in our project, it's time to start editing. But before we do that, I'm going to suggest a few tweaks to the default setup of the interface. And these are things that I like to have in place to make my editing go a little easier. So just the way we added the capture button to the toolbar, there's a couple of other buttons I like to have handy. So let's just customize the toolbar a little bit. I'm going to double click to the right of the last icon in the toolbar. And let's put up several icons here. First of all, new audio track. I like to have that handy. So I just click on that, hit add. And new video track. Let's find that one. Add that. And one thing I think is fairly important, and it's kind of an oversight in the interface, I believe, is to have some indication of whether quantize the frames, whether or not you can tell if it's on or off. And I'll explain a little more about what that does in just a moment here, but I'll find quantize the frames and add that. You also have the flexibility to put these icons wherever you want in the sequence on the toolbar here. So I'm gonna grab quantize the frames and just move it on up the list. I'm going to have it just after this separator and you see it show up right here right next to the automatic snapping button here and I'll close that. Now the difference is between the interface of the actual default when you first install it and what I have here is that this quantize the frames button is showing up here as well as the camcorder representing the capture video button and add the audio track or add a video track. Quantize the frames, I'll just go over very quickly. I'll grab a piece of media here. And I'm going to zoom way in. So at this zoom level, when I hit the arrow key, it's going to go one frame at a time. And you can see with the default, quantize the frames turned on. And you can see the button here is kind of indicating that it's on. If I trim the edge, it's going to jump a frame at a time, which is definitely what you want when you're working with video. However, when you're working with audio, you don't need that same constriction to a frame boundary. You should be able to move it wherever you'd like. And so you can turn quantize the frames off. And normally you would do that from options and at the very top here, quantize the frames or alt and F8. Or in our case, we have the handy button to turn it off. And now when I trim, it's going to move in whatever increment I move it. I'm getting in real trouble here because the video is also moving in less than a frame increment and that's bad for video. But we'll get into separating the audio and video later. Just for now, we want to know that we have a simple visual indicator of whether or not quantize the frames is turned on or off. So I'm just going to delete that. 